Allah Azza wa Jal in the previous ayah uh, that we spoke about yesterday talks about believing in some part of the book and not in other parts of the book. There is one aspect of that that I wanted to bring to your attention before we move on to the next ayah that I failed to do yesterday. And that is a, uh, an alienated, uh, disjointed application of Allah's deen. In other words, what happens in the, t- in the life uh, of a believer, certain different kinds of diseases can attack our practice of the deen. And one such disease is that you take care with great regard one aspect of the deen. Maybe it's salah, maybe it's the way you look, the way you dress. Right? You take care of it really, really well. And at the same time, you completely ignore some other aspect of the deen. And you start thinking in your head that because I'm doing this one thing really well, then I don't have to take care of other things. I'm a good Muslim because I already do this. So an example of that would be a person who is extremely... For, uh, the the, the uh, sample I give you of someone who really takes care of their salah, but when it comes to their obligations in regards to the home of being a husband, a responsible father, you know, of providing even a halal income, right, taking care of their role or taking care of their relationship with their parents, all of those things are in shambles, but at least I'm solid on my salat. This is not holding on to the deen. This is taking one part of the deen and ignoring other parts of the deen. And other people can do other things with this as well. There, there are people who, for instance, can make sure that and, and the alienation can become so severe that they'll make sure that the food they're eating is like halal. Right, so they'll go to the restaurant and they'll verify where the meat was slaughtered and they'll do background checks and find out the guy's social security number, even get a shoe size, everything, right? They'll make sure that their meat is coming from a legit source. But the paycheck and the money with which they're buying the meat can come from a haram source, that's okay. Right, so on the one hand, you're so peculiar, so particular about making sure that you're taking care of one aspect of the deen and on the other side, you can completely ignore it. And then, you have similar situation, you have people that can be very, very particular about the practices of the deen, about taking care of certain ritual aspects of the deen. But when it comes to, for example, gatherings inside the home, or you know, get-together, things like that, then you can throw all of the teachings of the deen out the window. A different person in the masjid, a completely different person at home. Different principles in the house of Allah, different, completely different principles elsewhere. This is afatu'minuna bi ba'dil kitabi wa takfuruna bi ba'd. You believe in some parts of the book and reject disbelief in other parts of the book. Right? That's what we t- spoke about yesterday. Now the, the Allah gets to the heart of the matter. Why would they do such a thing? Why would a person take one part of the religion so seriously and at the same time be oblivious to another part of the religion? It's all the same deen. It's all, it all comes from Allah Azza wa Jal. Well, the bottom line is this. This deen came so we can serve Allah. That's the simp- you know, summary of the deen is, you and I submit to Allah. We serve Allah. But for sometimes, you know what happens to people? They want the deen to serve them. Instead of the deen being a means to serve Allah, you want the deen to be a means to serve you. You want to feel good about yourself. You want to feel like you've accomplished something. It's not about Allah anymore, it's about you. So what does Allah say in the next ayah? أُولَٰئِكَ الَّذِينَ اشْتَرَوُ الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا بِالْآخِرَةَ those are the people that have purchased worldly life in exchange for the next life. They purchased. You know when you purchase something, who's it for? Yourself. Yourself. The previous ayah is talking about even them giving you know, money, fidya, to free captives. That's a good thing to do. But when they only do that and not the other part, then Allah is saying this is essentially self-serving. You just want your, you to feel better in this dunya. This is purchasing the life of dunya. By the way, these words are used usually for kuffar. They took the, this world, and they purchased the life of this world. They would rather have all the luxuries of life now. They would rather not have anything in the akhirah, because they don't believe in the akhirah. But the, the amazing thing is, this ayah now is talking about people who claim to believe. They claim to believe, and now Allah is saying, they've purchased the life of this world in exchange, of the next, in, in exchange for the next.